Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are having a great day today. Today's episode is brought to you by Trade Ideas. So use code MVP15 to get 15% off all products on Trade Ideas. Also, this is going to be kind of a mini coursework today we're going to be doing on YouTube. Um, so really, we're going to be offering a promotion of 50% off all products um, on the MVP tradingacademy.com use code for that one use code 50 off and you can get 50 percent off to anything but all right so let's jump into it we're going to be talking about the bull flag strategy here and this is if you guys are listening to it on the course uh, this is going to be in the indicators and strategies uh, lectures and let's jump right into it so what is a bull flag a bull flag is a chart pattern that occurs when a stock is in a strong upward trend this is called a flag pattern because when you see it on a chart, it looks like a flag on a pole. And since we're in an uptrend, it's considered a bullish flag. Now, we do have a bearish flag. We have all different types of flag patterns. But the bull flag is one of the easier patterns and easier strategies to use. I would compare it to support and resistance line strategies. Very, very simple. And the uh, really, the outcome is very, very strong. Um, for the profits. So a bullish, a bullish flag pattern. So let's do some more information on it before we actually look at some some charts. So a bullish flag pattern typically occurs or typically has the following features. Stock has made a strong upward move on high relative volume. High relative volume is pretty much the overall demand for the stock. So if it has a high relative volume, that's also going to cause either spike gaps. So this stock is going to gap up um, if not one or two two times and that's going to be forming a pole because we all know the flags have a pole that holds the flag up so the stock consolidates here on top on lighter volume forming that flag so the consolidation is just the flag and that tends to just kind of cool down that little stock for a minute before it gets more relative volume so the stock breaks out of consolidation and high relative volume and continues the trend the trend is your friend for the bullish flags the bullish flag are a subset of our momentum or of our momentum trading strategies and can be used on any time frame it can be used at the 10 the 20 the 30 the weekly and a lot of a lot of swing traders use them on the uh, really the monthly charts as well but we really only use the two and five minute time frames as we scalp the short term price movements. But you can use it for all different types. So let's look at a chart here and see what's going on. So how to trade them. Super simple, guys. It's very simple. Bull flag trading is very, very simple. The hardest part about this pattern is actually finding stocks. <laughs> but um, So that's why we use scanners like the trade ideas. I'll put that down below. So get 15% off, guys, just by clicking that link, and you guys will be in good. So when you guys come across the promo code, just put code MVP15, and you guys will be good. <coughs> so you want to look for stocks that are uh, surging up and then have some consolidation. So let's just look at this one. So here we have this huge price gap starting at $62, hitting a high of $82. That's a $20 price movement. Okay, now we have the 20 EMA line or the um, moving average X or I think it's the exponential. So it looks like it's the 20. So it takes the past 20 days, merges the closing prices and it will uh, form this line. Now this line uses uh, really access support resistance lines and a lot of traders use it. So you can really get in at price the best price points. So we have this huge really price gap here we have con some consolidation now it comes in contact with this uh, support so it looks like we have two lines of support we have the price line here right here as you guys can see it's below the consolidation so that looks like it's at you know maybe 70 73 dollars we can say a little below that but uh so it's at 73 dollars now the other support line is this moving average line so you can get in at the best price points really on this stock now a lot of people like to wait for the break of this trend because if you look at it we have an upward trend and then we started a downward trend okay 
So you can wait for, consolida for consolidation to end and get in for the break of the trend. So that break of the trend would be right here at 77.20. When you get in, you can set your really your stops below all the support lines. So if that say this pops down, it hits the support, bounces back up. Now, as this stock bounces up and starts getting that high relative volume, what you do, you can go at it two different ways. You can continue to buy, buy, buy all the way up, or you can buy and then do a quick scalp and sell on the first red. Now, the reason why uh, in some cases that's the best way is because it often will form a doji. And this is a very large doji. So this is a really candlestick that's not going up, it's not going down. It's just kind of getting all of the buying pressure out, getting all the selling pressure out just to see where the stock's going. So it looks like uh, that's what happened because you can see these long wicks. So this is buying pressure right here. And then this one right here is selling pressure. So this selling pressure is gonna take it and push it down most likely. Um, especially when the stock's up this high and it comes in contact with recent resistance. So really that is the best way to trade these types of stocks here is you just look for um, smart plays, quick scalps, and you get in and out of the trade fast and with ease, setting your stops always um, below support lines. And uh, yeah, you guys will be in profit. So if you guys are listening to it on YouTube and you guys want to kind of follow along, but uh, so for the homework today, if you guys are listening to it on YouTube, I'd love for you guys to do it. Just study it. Study this. Study these. Go on the paper trading simulations and do some. You know, um, Really, I'll start streaming my trade idea scanner again. I know I haven't been. But um, yeah, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Take care.